and welcome back to another episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, or as I've decided to name it on my channel, um, Mario and Luigi the Superstars Saga. Anyways, um, last time we fell out of an airship and everyone died by the looks of it. Well, in this episode, we're gonna find out where we are and what exactly happened to everyone else in the ship. Let's get right into it. Hi, Mr. Deadman. Koopa Cruiser, we haven't finished paying it off. Uh, well, government wins again, I guess. What do you have to say? Bow Bowser fell uh, on the other side of uh, the border. Fine Lord Bowser, oh, help us. Alrighty then. Ooh, what's this? Well, well, talk about a nice surprise. Check it out, bro. It looks like the famous Super Mario Bros. arrived. Man, those really bring back memories, doesn't it? Good times, good times. So what's up, brothers M? Are you two heading off on a journey together? Oh, so you probably want us to let you pass, huh? Well, yeah, well. I'm sure you guys know this is the border of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's right, the border, and since we're the border security, we can't let you in until you do some jumping worthy of the Mario name. Want to do the border jump? Sure. Yeah. So what this is, is basically it's a mini game for, um, where you have to, these guys are going to do just that. You get three tries per bro, and you have to, uh, get it right. Not like I'm doing. I am doing a terrible run of it. Yep, and here we go. Attempt number two. There we go. And we already lost life with Luigi. Nope. 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 Nope, Luigi. Ah. Oh. All right. This is the one, fellas. This is the one. Mario. Every time you do this, it is the same. So you can memorize it. It is a bit easier when you're using, um, not a, not official hardware, because after all, I am playing this on a Game Boy, as you can see. There we go. They try to mess you up. And, man, very cool, that was some incredible jumping! Once the flag reaches the top of the flag, well, you clear. Nice so much the first Mario game, I must admit. Just beyond here is the Beam Bing Kingdom. You might be extra careful when traveling there. Now, as much as I would love to leave this area and never come back to it after that horrible three attempts I had, something special does happen if you go back in. So let's do that. You ready to try the infamous Border Jump 2 challenge? Yes, we do. I don't know how many attempts I want to give this, considering how bad I was last time, but... Fuck. No! Ugh. Ugh. Of course, I'm going to have to keep doing this for the sake of science and showing you what it is that you win by doing this, and for those loot dinguses who feel the need to um, correct me, which is most of the people watching this, no, it's not coins, though that would be kind of nice. It is something a little more valuable. Something I would love to show off if this would let me. Luigi Mario. Mario. Mario Luigi. Uh, shit. I will get this. Ha. Huh? Forgive my horrible run. I am rusty. And I'm not used to playing on this. There we go. Man, very cool, that was awesome, incredible jumping! Once again, once you re once the flag reaches the top of the flagpole, you do. That's how you can tell if you won. And, for our troubles, we get... You cleared the level. 
Pooh. That was some great jumping. How about a beanie reward to commemorate it? If you can't find this type of bean just anywhere, all yours enjoy. We get one, two. I've always wanted to say this for our troubles we get. Oh, it it doesn't say. Well, let's open up the menu and let's find out, shall we? What exactly we got? It's we got two heaving. Now I'm sure you're wondering, but Mr. Mr. Lo Loogie, Mr. Le Leagy, I'm sh what what happens if you go in there again? Well, I'm I'm glad you asked. You very smart individual. Let's find out. For our troubles of going in here again, we get the super border jump. That's right. There is a third level. No, I am not kidding. Yes, I am crying. I think we can... This one requires we both jump at the same time. Which does clearly suck. They're gonna try a lot of cruel tricks cruel tricks and frankly I'm I don't like it at all and I think this is cruel very cruel but we did that first try even though it's supposed to be hard in the last so I guess I can't complain once again like as always the flag pull reaches the top and for our troubles this time we get we get three heaving Now, for, and this is going to sound a little ridiculous, you can go in there again. And for your trouble of going in here again, and you press no to this, oh, wait, what? Well, one second. Is this the Super, or Super Border Jump Sunshine? Because Super Mario Sunshine just come out at the time. I'm sorry, I was, I was thinking of something else. Yes, there is a fourth level to this horrible mini game that I'm starting to hate more and more the more I play it on the hardware I am playing it on because unlike the hardware I normally play it on I have not used to these controls we're gonna give that another try because there is something else even again there is something else after this that I do want to show off because like the great Chugga Conroy before me, I would love to show as much of this game as I can in the hopes that you yourself go out and play it. Because this is, to this day, still one of my favorite games, quite frankly. This game has been in my life since grade one, two, I want to say. And that was before I even was able to play it. Chugga Conroy, who is one of my all-time favorite YouTubers, he's just a Let's Player, first played this a few years back, and frankly, it's, like, just his Let's Play of it made me, made this game my personal favorite, and I've grown up playing it ever since. For me, I find it hard to actually play games all the way through, because, um, I have ADHD, so I latch onto things very e quickly and let go of them very quickly. But this game is one of the few games where I can go back and play it almost yearly, and I don't have to worry about ever getting bored of it. The dialogue is amazing, the sprites are insane, and it's it's just super fun, frankly, to go through this game. And yes, if you go in, there is a fifth challenge. First, you can play any of the other previous challenges, but if you go in and refuse that, you want to take on the complete border jump? Oh, yeah. This is every single challenge in sync on only three lives. And from what I remember, the reward is not worth it. It is minuscule. It is, it is like, I think it's seven beans compared to the six. So we're not even going to attempt that again, because unlike everyone else, I have horrible reactions to things, and I will probably end up saying something I will regret. Moving on. Hold up. Hold up, bros! Since we've been on duty, you two are the first people ever to cross the border. I mean, ever! We've got to commemorate this occasion by giving you this. You got the BNB map. As long as you have a map, you'll feel safer in foreign lands, right? 
please press the select button to view the map screen and check out that map. That's not the select button. Um, let's do exactly what he says. Alright, so on this map, we have a nuclear power plant, um, what looks like golems coming out of the tree line. Um, we have giant skulls in what looks like soup, um, a giant cl ch clock tower like Big Ben, and a cobblestone shack I built in Minecraft. Wow, what a riveting map. I cannot wait to visit all these places. Now over here is something quite nice. This is a warp pipe. It is the fast travel system of the game, but frankly right now since we only are in uh, Stardust Fields, we don't really have any use for it. So let's move on. Bean Bean Bulletin, distributing facts uncovered in Area 64. Yes, that is a reference to the Nintendo 64. Recent studies show that the spiky Stardust Defense System, SSDS, can be jumped. It's easy, just run, well, considering this is a security system, it's kind of flawed if you're giving us how to get past it just by, you know, on the sign? I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe maybe it's a flex, you know. Maybe they're just like, haha, you have to be able to jump like the Super Mario Brothers to get past. But I digress. Oh, we have our first enemy of the game, one that is not known to most Tom Mario fans, and one that is exclusively to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. A, oh, and he disappeared in the background. So no, here we go. A fighter fly. These guys don't really do much. This felt their only attack, and I dodged it horribly. Let's try to do it properly. There we go. There isn't much to them. It's as simple as just jumping on their heads and waiting for the right time. Yeah, there we go. They lose their teeth when you jump on them, as all and all flies do. And for this first area, I recommend fighting as many enemies as possible, just to gain those sweet, sweet level ups. The good thing about this game compared to other RPGs, though, is that I don't really feel the need to grind in it. I feel like if you just go through the game casually playing and you happen to stumble upon certain enemies or whatever, then you should be fine, quite frankly. There is there is nothing to worry about. We have a save block here, meaning there is probably something dastardly coming up if I do say so myself. And up ahead is, again, another instance of this being one of my favorite games. This dialogue exchange is just absolutely fantastic. Please enjoy. Hey, Mario. Great time. I could use a hand here. I'm kind of stuck. Well, keep your diet jokes to yourself. They're not funny. Just get me out of here. Oh, I beg to differ, Bowser. Nothing makes me happier than fat shaming. Why could it be that the Bowser, the great Koopa King, has fallen into my cannon? Yeah. How amusing. Who, who dare speak to me so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Polestar, the great and famed king of Stardust Fields. I've heard tales of you, but you aren't very impressive in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick, if you want me to get get him out of there, little people, you must pay in coins. I will send free for all your coins, and I'll even keep this most embarrassing incident a secret. Bowser's eyes! Those poor little anime whiskers. Oh, how I wish I could wipe them from his cold, poor face. Oh, what? That's not fair. Pardon me, I'm not sure I heard you correctly just now. You'll give me all 119 of your coins. Nick, nick, nick. Why, these are mushroom coin, mushroom kingdom coins, aren't they? This is the Bean Bean Kingdom. I suppose I'll have to calculate their value with local currency. Let's see. At today's exchange rate, 119 mushroom coins are worth 10 Bean Bean coins. Jesus Christ, Princess Peach, your economy is absolute dog water. Quite frankly, it's as bad as the economy is here in Canada, if I'm being honest. Well, sorry for the only 10 coins. I can't guarantee this secret won't slip out. 
Yes, that means I'll need an additional 100 Bean Bean Coins. Go find them in Stardust Field and bring them back to me. Then I'll help your Koopa King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, first part of the game is a grinding session. Oh golly gee willikers, I can't wait. But first things first, what happens if we go back and talk to him now? Uh, yeah, let's see here. You now have it. Zero coins. Hey, you haven't collected 100 coins yet, deadbeats. <laughs> <sighs> Moving on. We have, oh no, more scary spikes. Woo! I love how fluent the movement is for Mario and Luigi. I mean, look at them. And yes, this whole area is just going to be me fighting and grinding enemies. As boring as that may seem, but quite frankly, it's okay, because that means you get to listen to more, me gush about the game even more. This, I heard this soundtrack for the first time when the 3DS remake came out in person, and um, to say I almost cried is... Sadly, really true, actually. I, I teared up a little bit, and I did end up playing this on official hardware. I do have a Game Boy Advance, but it's just not modded. You have a um, graphics card, so I'm stuck using my computer, as you can clearly see. These are infinite coins, you can hit them, but a really good way of doing it that I keep forgetting is just having Mario and Luigi like, jump simultaneously underneath. That actually does grant you more coins because it is under a time limit. Um, we move along. Uh, the music in this game is astounding. Oh, and we have a new enemy. We have Bill Blasters. Well, first, let's take out this guy. That's that's their ability. They they, they sure do shoot out bullets named Bill, which begs the question: Are bullet bills alive? Like, did, did, did someone give a bullet a soul and they're named our bullet bill, or is it like a face painted onto it? Anyway, we got ourselves another level up here on Mario. Um, he's... I, I want to give him more attack. But we can give him more stash. The, the, the short form for, for me to tell you this right now, if you want to win this game instantly, put all your power points into... Put all your roulettes into power. Um, this game is not hard in the slightest. If you're looking for challenges, it's definitely not the game for you. Um, but I prefer to distribute my stuff evenly. Why, you may ask? That's how I play the game, man. Don't question me. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm the lead league. You know, you, you can't question my gaming prowess. Anyway, continuing on with the uh, Stardust Fields. Can't get up there quite yet. We will get an ability later on for that. Spoilers. If you're worried about spoilers in a Mario game. That's a syrup. Um, what it does, we don't have access to quite yet, but if this star sign is any indication, that's about to change. Sergeant Starshade, the shooting stars we witnessed were an alien bombardment, perhaps. In the name of the Starshade Bros, we will find the alien scum. They will rue the day. Now, here's a fun fact for you about the Starshade Bros that I spend three years of my life not knowing. Do you see that there are two eyes and then that little black indent underneath them? I thought that was their mouth. And they were wearing a scarf. I was wrong. That is their nose. Those white, that white stripe is their, is their mouth. And to see them from a side view is to ruin everything about these guys. I wish I could unsee it, and I cannot. And now you must suffer with me. Let us continue. General Starshade, sir, I have confirmed this presence of a suspicious unknown entity. It is a vivid green color that pers pierces the eye. Yes, sighting confirmed. However, I see not green, but red. Urgent pursuit. Urgent. Pursue additional visual contact immediately. See what I mean? It's his mouth. I never noticed that, and it ruined it ruined them for me. I can never look at the Starshade Bros the same way again. Oh, they look hideous. These guys haunt my dreams more than Freddy Krueger. 
Oh, incredible! It is none other than Mario Luigi of the Mushroom Kingdom! Luigi setting confirmed! Sergeant Starshade, change of mission objective. Obtain autograph. Stat! Hmm. I see. Incredible. To think, Princess Peach's lovely voice in the hands of some vile enemy. Her voice must be recovered, no matter what it takes. Priority one, Sergeant Starshade. We must provide as much field support as we can. Very well. These Starshade bros will teach you the secrets of bros action. Master Mario, Master Luigi, special bros action training shall commence immediately. Are you ready to undergo training? And here is the introduction of action command. When you... So I can... I can press... It. One minute. Hi! Hi! I love how he says that. It's, it's great. Yes, you, you give your brother brain damage in the, in the hopes of a boosted jump. No, we do not wish for you to explain it again. Hi! And that is... I, I forgot what the name is. And then for the spin jump. Again, you press L. And you get to spin! You see the piggyback. <laughs> Look at... Now, I know I could read this out. But I'm not going to. While this jingle sing sings, I'm going to let this sink in for a minute. Look at their faces. Terrifying. I don't know what beast or vile human would allow such an act, but frankly, I am appalled. And that is a spin jump. Um, yes, we are ready to return. They want us to get up here, so we have to climb this mountain. Why there are giant barrels perfectly aligned so we can jump? Don't ask me, for I am nothing but a simple commentator in this crazy world we call Mario. Now, if this does take off and you guys enjoy this content, I would love to know what other games you'd like me to play. Of course, there's the rest of the Mario and Luigi series that I would love to play. I've always wanted to play this for fans before, so I'm really glad that I was finally able to figure out how to do this. There's Partners in Time, there's Bowser in Side Story, two of my personal favorites. This game is unmatched, though, in my opinion, at least. Hmm, incredible Mario, Master, L Master Mario, Master Luigi. You truly are super brothers. I salute you. You have perfectly mastered the high jump and spin jump. Master Mario, Master Luigi, may your mission be successful. Good luck out there. Move out! And I completely screwed that up, because there's a block over there. Uh, isn't that fantastic? Let us climb back up this mountain. I almost did a perfect run of that, I believe. There we go. I still have to get used to these controls. That's never going to be... Easy, I don't think, but we are learning together. I really hope at some point someone starts playing through this and watches these videos. That is something I did um, again with Chugga Conroy with his Mario, no, with his Luigi's Mansion when they made the 3DS remake on the 3DS. That's where Luigi first appeared for anyone who plays Mario. Oh, right. With our new action command, we got Rose Attack. These are attacks done using both rows in a sequence of button combinations to perform a powerful attack. Now, as you can see, they're on the side of these levels. There's levels 1, 2, 3. Level 1 is the easiest. It gives you the action commands. Level 2 is your medium level. And number 3, it doesn't give you any button prompts at all. You have to do it by yourself, but at the you do get to lower at uh, the lower BP cost. Just because it's the start of the run, and I do want to show it, I will start off at the lowest setting. And I immediately screwed it up. Alright. Um, let's try again with Luigi. Now the bros do have their own attacks. There. Boom! And then that's how you do that. So if you get if you do these bros attacks ten times in a row, something worth what worth your trouble does happen. So at the beginning of these levels, it is very imperative that you do these throws attacks as much as humanly possible. 
Now, for those of you who have a keen eye, yes, this is what the syrups are for. Mario gulps it down, just like we Canadians do in real life. Um, Luigi, you're not supposed to get hit, but I digress. I think we pump a few more levels into BP after this, because, well, we're having a bit of trouble. Now, let's do this correctly, shall we? A, B, and A, there we go. And Luigi gets a level up. Speaking of upping BP, let's give him... Plus one. I got a feeling that's gonna be a recurring theme in this Let's Play. Anyways, I say that a lot. I need to. Uh, I think I've said that a lot. Sorry for the crappy commentary. I am still new to this, so please have mercy. Um, we got another syrup. If you you can use items outside of battle, all you gotta do is come over here and come over to items. And just like that, I should have not wasted that. But here we are. That's a life hack for anyone who wants to, uh, keep the system. Now, after these bros attacks, it's even more important that you master them and get... Do better than I do, because I am not doing a good job of showing off these bros attacks. I am going to play with the prompts for a little bit, just so I get comfortable with these attacks again. I have not touched this game in a while. Boom! There we go! Now, I don't know what your guys' favorite games are, but I would love to hear it in the comments if, if when you get the chance. If, oh, no. And I get to show off a new stat here, sadly. This is... Stun. This is what happens when Mario or Luigi gets hit from behind instead of us getting a first strike like I've been doing a decent job of getting. Luigi can't attack for a turn, so that's always fun. There we go. Um, and we are out of BP, and I screwed up that jump. As you can tell, I'm fantastic at this game. I mean, unmatched, quite frankly. I do plan on doing some other stuff with the channel, like I was stating earlier. I have ideas. If you're lucky, it's just tonight. I might even post another video, not of Mario Luigi, but I'm thinking of doing a Plants vs. Zombies trailer, specifically number two, with my associate. I don't know how he wants to be dressed right now. But, um, I think that's a good place to end it. You know, we, um, we got Rose Attacks, we met Toll Star, and we are thinking of freeing Bowser. So next time on uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, or as I like to call it, Super Stars Saga, um, we will can finish up in here in Stardew. I almost said Stardew Fields, but that is a completely different game. We will finish up here in Star Shade. Shoot. We'll finish up here in the place we were at and go on to fight Toll Star, hopefully. And uh, I'll see you guys then.